Today we're going to show you how to change the seal on an open drive e -tray. So this one is a compressor we're in the process of building. It's up to the point now that we got to put the seal on. I'll show you in a little bit the older style E-trains where the plate is not kind of flat looking like this. It's going to be more of a dome. So this gets an SEL0002 uh, seal plate and you can see the plate is a little flatter. It bumps out but it's a little flatter and it gets a gasket opposed to the other style that's going to get an O-ring. The interface is machined and finished to accommodate a carbon seal that's going to go against it. On the dome style, you're going to have an insert that you're going to have to change, pull out of the dome and put in. This does not have an insert to go in there. You're going to have the rotary cartridge seal and on the older styles, it's going to be more of a loose style spring so it's going to look significantly larger. So this is what I was just talking about. This is uh, one of the dinosaurs we dug out of our storage facility of an open drive E-train with the older style plate. You can see it looks more like a dome than the style we're doing. This would be get an SEO uh, 22. This gets an O-ring in here around the, the front bearing housing and then the uh, seal is on here. But if I pop this off, the spring is gonna be much longer because it's not like a cartridge style rotary seal that we have on the newer style that we're just doing. When your changes in the field, don't just think the same one seal fixes it all. There's two, there's multiple different types. One good indicator is the look of the face plate. You're gonna to wanna to, uh, go to put a fair amount of oil on there before you put this on. The other thing to know before I do this, is that on these style seals, there's, on most seals, there's going to be a carbon that's loose. On this, before you're going to put this on, I would recommend taking the seal off very carefully, keeping off to the side, so you don't have any chances of pushing it, damaging it, scratching it, cracking it. They're very, since there's a carbon, it's very easy to crack. To get some oil and put some oil in here, we'll put a little coat of oil in there, a little coat of oil on the inside where the rubber seal is. Get around there. Now you're going to want to carefully Push this on. Next, you're gonna to want to put a light coat of oil on your gasket, and we're gonna to want to put the carbon on. Now, you always wanna make sure you don't scratch the face, and you gotta to wanna to make sure you look at the little divots on each side. They're gonna line up on that on the seal there, so it'll lock in the place. We'll put this on very carefully. Now we'll take the seal plate. Remember, I already lightly oiled up the gasket. And when you put this on, you want to come in very carefully. If you don't want to chip or scratch or crack the carbon, I'm just going to snug the bolts up evenly on each side. And then I'm going to take a ratchet and lightly draw it in. Now these are 12 point bolts. So you're going to want to use a 12.38 socket. You're going to want to do it very gently as you draw this in. Like I said, do it evenly all the way around. Uneven pressure on the carbon can cause it to crack. And that's the last thing we want. You're going to tighten all these up and you're going to torque it to 38 foot pounds. And you just change your seal on an open drive e-train.